The Proud and Deadly Awards is an annual celebration of the aspirations, talents, excellence, achievements and valuable contributions our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students make to their respective schools and communities. Hi, my name is Nikki James. I'm a local Yorta Yorta woman, a mother, and a member of the Proud and Deadly Awards Committee. The Proud and Deadly Awards acknowledges our students' efforts and achievements throughout the year. I believe it encourages our kids to be proud of themselves with the support from our Bernala community. When I received my 2019 Proud and Deadly Award, it made me feel proud to be a Aboriginal woman living in Wangaratta. Um, it made me feel proud and to see all the elders up there and shake their hands and I really love the sausage sizzle at the end. So this year being asked to MC for the Pratt and Deadly Awards was an honour and, and I was very privileged but then to see my son get an award and sit back as a parent it made me feel really proud and it's just showing them how we can be more spiritual and showing them that our culture is still alive and yeah, just for them to even see that outside of their normal everyday life because everything's busy. It's really important because our elders show us the way, handing down our dream time, our families and, and anything to do with our culture. We respect our elders and we look up to our elders so they're like our mentors so it's really vital that they're the ones presenting and giving the awards to the children. The Pratt and Deadly Awards um, have two planning committees, one for Benalla and one for Wangaratta. Um, those planning committees um, put a lot of work and effort into um, partnerships and sorting out the sponsorship, organising the awards. There's a lot of background work goes into the Proud and Deadly Awards. A lot of partnerships have been created in order for the Proud and Deadly Awards to run. We look for sponsorship through organisations um, for the Proud and Deadlies to run. Um, and that includes through the universities, um, health organisations, community health organisations and anybody else who would like to be involved in these awards. Hoping for next year that we'll receive more support from local businesses. 